Every single thing in your life is going to change. I declare and I decree it. It is inevitable. It is unstoppable. It's ordained in God's appointed time in his calendar in heaven. So this month, my friends, great, great harvest, great, great movement, momentum. Hello there from the UK. Bless you. Prophetess Ivana, bless you. Michelle May from San Diego. Bless you. Very good to see you. I will testify. Yes, you will. Hello from Sweden. Wow, we got the nations here today. Amen. I want you to say extreme revival and harvest. Last night I was ministering. And as, as I was ministering here in Mesa, Arizona, the Lord began to prophesy that there's going to be extreme revival here in Arizona in the next three months. And I don't believe it's just Arizona, but we are in Q2 or in the second quarter of 2023. And of course, if, you're, if you've been following me, if you know me in my ministry, uh, you know, we, we are times and seasons prophets. We move in a grace and the spirit, the oil of Issachar, which means that, uh, you know, we prophesy about the signs and the times. And the Bible says, in the Old Testament, the Bible says, that the tribe of Issachar, they knew the times and seasons. So they knew what they ought to do. When you know what God is doing in the heavenlies, you will have proper strategy on earth to go about the plans of God. Amen. So I feel the Holy Ghost. So in the next three months, everything in your life, it's just, phew, it's going to shift and change. And I know even today, there was other reports of more banks going down under, mate. More banks are going down under. There's so much happening in the world. But these next three months are going to be crucial. But let me backtrack. Because I've, because even last Saturday, I talked about and I prophesied about the second half of 5783. Friends, of course, we're in 2023. However, we're also in the Hebrew calendar, and according to the Hebrew biblical Jewish calendar, we are in the year 5783, which started in the month of September last year. And now we are in the second half, say second half. We're in the latter half, the latter part of 5783. So I want to prophesy over you that everything is going to begin to speed up and accelerate in the second half of 5783. The next five to six months, every single thing in your life is going to change in the next five to six months. The first half of 5783, the Lord has been preparing us. We've been going through shifts, movements, testings, uh, breakdowns, breakthroughs. There's been a preparation of the ground for the latter half of 5783. And the Bible is very clear. The glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. Can I get an amen? The glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. Amen. So the second half, the next five, six months, the second half of 5783, from May, June, July, August, September, even to October, because October also coincides with the 10 days of all or the high holy days. Bam. The next five, six months, the second half of 5783, everything in your life is going to change. So the first half, say first half, the first half has been for a preparation to be the platform for your launching into the second half. If you're with me today, I want to say amen and give some hearts and likes. So everything is accelerating. It is intensifying. And everything is about to be bananas and bonkers. If you follow my drift, catch my drift, I want to say amen. And of course, when I released the prophetic word of the month for the month of May, I began to prophesy. In fact, the Lord caught me up in the spirit and he showed me, I need to pray for China and Asia, Korea, North Korea. We need to pray for Europe, Russia, Ukraine, and we need to pray for Israel. I began to declare that. And you could catch the fullness of that word that I released in a prophetic word for the month of May. Amen. Because this is a month of ER in the Hebrew calendar. And this is the month of healing, wholeness, and harvest. And if you receive that, say amen. But I want to talk to you right now about the next three months. Because my friends, 
I believe we are in revival season, extreme revival. We are in extreme harvest time. Extreme revival, miracles, and a harvest. Miracles, revival, harvest. I want to say that. Miracles, revival, and a harvest. We are in a season of extreme miracles, revival, and harvest. In the next three months, if you receive it today, I want you to say amen. In the next three months, I believe there's an, shoot, an open window of grace. There's opportune heavens, open heavens in the next three months where there's going to be extreme miracles, revival, and harvest. And I've already been getting reports from a number of people, okay? I see you here, Rachel. I saw you earlier, Rob Feller. I've been getting reports from a number of people, how they're prophet or testifying, excuse me, of how this month of May already looks great. I'm telling you, contracts are in motion. New inquiries, new invitations, new open doors are in motion. The, the waters and the currencies are flowing. So things are in motion right now. Amen. And right now, things are in motion for that great realm of glory to open up and to increase. So there are things that are in motion. Because I believe in this month of May, there's going to be mega miracles, mega harvest. Of promises fulfilled, mega harvest of souls, mega harvest of financial increase in this month of May because it's Pentecost season. The countdown has begun. It's Pentecost season for the Jubilee anointing. So in this month of May, I want to say mega harvest. If you're with me today, say amen. I believe in the next three months, my friends, there's going to be great revival, miracles, and harvest. If you receive it, if you believe with me today, I want to say amen. And even last night, we saw two people receive supernatural weight loss. Incredible. We saw one person with MS for seven years, healed. Another lady, she is scheduled in, in sometime in May to get a knee replacement surgery. She got healed yesterday, dropped her cane. Amen. I'm bringing home at least one cane. Praise God. And I believe we're going to take home more in the, in the next three days here from Arizona. Amen. But I release the fire of God. I release the glory of God upon you right here, right now. And if you believe with me that the next three months, we are in extreme revival, extreme miracles, and extreme harvest. If you believe with me, I want to say amen and give us some hearts and lights. Now, friends, I want to talk about something very important. I want to talk about a great mission that we are doing, I'm doing, called the Route 66 Revival. But people of God, I want to bring in a special friend. His name is Evangelist Gary Christie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From originally Philadelphia. He's a great friend of mine. And uh, I love him, his, him and his family. Great dear friends. But I want to bring him on today because... We have some very important and exciting news to share with you. So are you ready for a double-double anointing today? Bang, bang. Are you ready to receive this double portion? If you're ready to receive, I want to say amen. Now, Evangelist Gary, I'm going to bring you on. Friends and haters, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Let's welcome Evangelist Gary Christie to the stage. Amen. Come on. Let's welcome the man of God, Evangelist Gary Christie. Hallelujah. Give some hearts and likes and comment. Welcome, Evangelist. Evangelist Gary, good to see you. Hey, Dr. Ben, how are you? I'm doing well, my friend. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's a good day. Glory be to God. Let me, just, let me just put on my AirPods here. Glory, do you hear me now? You see? Look, no, no, not too good. All right, do you hear me now? Better, much better. All right, everybody say we're back. We're back. Now, Evangelist, why, why don't you just step away a little bit so we can see more of your full face, amen? Or you can push the camera back a little bit. Everybody, welcome to Man of God, Evangelist Gary Christie. Now, Evangelist, you yeah, you finally got that fresh haircut, amen? amen. Now, we are doing something very special in this month of June. Literally, friends, we're three weeks away. 
I want to say three weeks. But I believe we are in a season of extreme revival, miracles, and harvest, okay? Extreme revival, miracles, and harvest. But you and I were doing something called a Route 66 revival this coming June. Amen. Amen. And uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get you to speak and and talk a little bit in a little bit. But, but friends, who here knows that God releases strategies and blueprints, prophetic vision for the harvest? What does that mean? That means in order to get something, He tells you how to get it. In order to get something, He gives you wisdom and revelation the blueprints, the destiny scrolls of heaven. He lays things out for you so that it will be filled. What does that mean? In order for a new wine to be released, there's a wine skin, and the wine skin has to do with instructions. Yeah. It has to do with the word of the Lord. Now, two years ago, our ministry, we went into a three-month revival, three months every day. Miracles, signs, wonders, water baptisms, souls being won to Jesus in the Navajo Nation. Gallup, New Mexico. It was incredible. And now, out of that, the Lord said, Route 66 Revival. Mm. And we did Route 66 Revival last year. And if you don't know, Highway 66 is a historic highway in the United States. Now, why is highways important? Because Isaiah 35 and many other scriptures talked about the highway of holiness. The highway of the Lord. So something the Lord showed me, Evangelist, is that different highways are actually highways of spiritual activity and connectivity. However, certain highways, roads, are filled with demons, principalities, drug and human trafficking. And that's why certain highways, there's more accidents more deaths, more murders, mm. all right? And actually, myself and Prophet Doug Addison, we talked about this, and you can find that on my YouTube channel and Benham Global. And we talked about the, uh, the spiritual realm of different highways. Now, 66, Route 66, it's called the Mother Road. And Route 66 is a historic road where the Great Trail of Tears took place, where the Great Depression took place. And as well, it coincides with uh, the healing wells of revival in America. Friends, it's time for revival in America. Come on. Let the healing wells of revival break forth and rise up in this country, in the United States. God's not done with America. If you believe it, say amen. God is not done with this country. And as America goes, so goes the world. Okay? Mm. So we need your prayers because I believe we are in a three-month season of revival, miracles, and a harvest. And I believe Route 66 revival, this one-month mission trip, this prophetic, strategic blueprint assignment from God, Ikarabata, it is going to be a caravan of glory. No so two years as we finished, two years ago, as we finished Red Rock Stadium, we did a 5,000-seater stadium in Gallup, New Mexico. Cindy Jacobs came, Eddie James. And we finished that three-month revival at Red Rock Stadium in Gallup, New Mexico. And the Lord spoke to me, Route 66 revival. And I began to see in the spirit, tents set up for revival along Route 66, from Chicago to St. Louis, to Tulsa, to Kansas City, to Amarillo, to Flagstaff, to Albuquerque, to Los Angeles. And I saw vision of tents it's time to it's, it's time to get ready for the harvest the ground is groaning and moaning for the sons of god to manifest are you ready to partner with revival do you believe that jesus is going to breathe a fresh breath a third great awakening a third great awakening a fresh move upon this nation. If you believe with me, I want to say amen. Now, Evangelist Gary, you're, you're a good friend of mine, or I'd say even great for now, at least. But you're a great friend of mine. I love you and your amen. family. I've known you now for almost a year and a half. But a lot has happened since then. And 
You are our official coordinator for Route 66 Revival this year. And uh, wow, why don't you just say hello and just begin to share a little bit of what's on your heart right now. Everybody give it up for Evangelist Gary. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Blessings, Dr. Ben. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really excited. Uh, even what you're sharing about right now, sharing about uh, just highways and connections, and that's even kind of how we got connected. You know, like I, I, I prayed for divine connection, and God sent me, you know, what I believe to be destiny helpers. That's what God does. And uh, because how many people know that when Jesus told the dis Peter, cast your net on the other side, the harvest was so big that Peter couldn't handle that harvest by himself. He had to call in his friends, his partners, to come help him bring in that net filled with fish. And so I believe this harvest in America is going to be so big that we, we, it's not something that one or two guys can do alone. We're going to need a, uh, to call in our partners. We're going to need to call in to yeah. bring nets because they're going to be so full. We're going to need people. We're going to need connection. We're going to need others who are willing to reap the harvest. And so I really believe it's a, it, you know, we've had a divine friendship and a divine connection. And I'm so thankful uh, for everything that God is doing, you know, in both of our lives and, and what he's doing with this Route 66 revival. Um, you know, this year I spent time, I, you, you nailed it, principalities in this, in this country and just different things that, that we're going to be coming against as we step into these cities. And this is why prayer for so important for us. But, you know, the Lord spoke to me even about Isaiah 45. You know, he was going to open for us the double doors, but he would cr crush the gates of bronze. And I'm thinking, I'm Lord, what are these gates of bronze? You know, it's that spirit of religion, a spirit of control that's been, that's been over our churches and over this, these regions, these high, these big cities, you know? And so what do we do? We step in and light the cities on fire for revival. We, you know, the river flows further from the temple. The deeper the river gets, as further away we go. And so as we step out into these tents, I'm really believing, you know, as just like last year, we're going to see God show up in such a great and mighty way. I'm really excited for that. So good. Amen. And and let's let's backtrack because I remember years ago, I read a book uh, by John Dawson. He is the son of Joy Dawson, one of the co-founders of YWAM Youth of the Mission, mm -hmm. one of the largest, greatest uh, missions organizations in the world. Um, but this book called Taking Our Cities for God, it began to talk about how strategic cities are. I want to say cities. Sure. Okay, God is in the highways and byways, but he's the God of the city. Right. Why is Jerusalem a city? Why is Zion? a city so god is the god of the city and the thing about the cities they are the world's superpowers or they're also known as mega cities there's mega cities like mexico city mega cities such as los angeles and it has to do with a certain populace a certain amount of population and economic contribution uh of resources that they bring to the table globally but there's something strategic about cities and that's why the democrats and the left we're going there that's why the demons <laughs> of the age they try to infiltrate cities with evil demonic legislation right. so that there'll be poverty there'll be communism there'll be murder there'll be gangs there'll be drugs there'll be abortions okay of course they want it to be leftist and woke so that churches are shut down and muzzled so that it drives out all righteousness and the cities are infiltrated by demons and by high powers places and by witches of principalities so mm. we need to go into these cities and see revival these cities chicago st louis even my city los angeles yeah. these cities need a move of god these cities need god's power and why cities because that's where the people are you gotta be where the fish are you gotta be where the souls are mm. you need to be where the influencers are and so there's a verse in the book of joshua that says god will give you the gates of your enemies mm. the gate and i'm telling you bill gates is as first. god's going to give you the gates of our enemies and god's going to give you houses you do not build vineyards you do not plant right. wells you do not dig god is going to give you these lands that's why wherever the soles of our feet step and touch mm -hmm. god will give us that land so this is a year of dominion this is a year of taking ground for the glory of god and even by november the midterms uh, or not the midterms the new elections my goodness mm -hmm. friends 
Listen, from now to November, the world is the globalist the elitists they're going to try to do all that they can to collude and to corrupt and to lie we already know that but it's revival harvest miracle season so let's go for it. the labors are few the labors are few but the harvest is plenty are you believing for the harvest evangelist come on i'm believing for the harvest it's going to be a, an incredible harvest this, this this year's already started off i mean when you talk about the harvest being ripe, I mean, I, I, I went to a, it, you know, real quick, I just, I was in a meeting the other week and before I even preaching one word, the Lord highlighted someone and said, he's ready to give his life to me, make the move. And in front of, and, and before even preaching one word, we just confronted him, gave him a word from the Lord and boom, he gives his life to Jesus right there in the meeting. Didn't even open up the session with anything. Just, just immediately listening to the Lord. And I really believe that was like a first fruits. Like, man, the harvest is just so ripe in this nation. Yeah. You know, uh, when the enemy co comes in like a flood, the Lord raises up a standard. So in all this darkness, you know, Jesus even tells us the light shines so much brighter next to the darkness. We'll see the light in this country. And so as we go in to reap this harvest, I believe we're going to, the light is going to shine bright in these cities. Amen. Absolutely. And again, I love what you're saying because everywhere we've been going, we're seeing an increase in miracles, deliverance, mm -hmm. hunger, friends, since the Asbury revival. Yeah. It's like everything has exploded. It's gone to another level, right? It's because the warfare is intensifying. But at the same time, the glory is intensifying. Mm -hmm. As the world is getting darker, these banks uh, getting colluded. Even today, another bank was bought off. And as the economy of the world is failing, the economy of heaven still prospers from glory to glory. So this is a season for us to invest and partner with the things of God. Jesus right. says, store up your treasures in heaven, not on earth. Yeah. Because the earthly things are going to do in the way. And do you know what's important? It's souls. It's souls. It's the gospel. And the good news, the gospel still works. It's not relevant. It's God. It still works today, my friends. And let me tell you, in this hour... God is a new breed of revivalists, apostles, prophets, evangelists. God is raising up a new breed of the man of God to release the Reformation in the earth. Now, friends, if you are a revivalist, you have a heart and passion for the things of God. You believe that America is ready for a great third awakening. I want you to say amen. And I want you to say that to me. Because let me tell you, friends. God is looking. The eyes of the Lord search to and fro all across the earth, looking for a heart that truly belongs to him. I pray that God will find and locate the power of one, just one. Mm. All he needs is one man, one woman. You may be broke as a joke. You may be a broke as a coke. It doesn't matter, just one. Mm. All he needs is one willing person to say, yes, here I am. All I got is five loaves, two fish. I don't got much. I'm in the hardest season of my life. God, break me. God, take me. Do whatever you want to do. But I want to be a yielded, willing vessel for your glory, Jesus. Someone say amen. And all God needs is one amen. person to say yes for the fire, for the glory, for the power of God to fall. And when one person says yes, that person will become a world shaker. That person will be a mover and a shaker in the glory of God. If that's you, I want you to shout hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes. Come on. Amen. And I believe evangelists, you're one of those ones that God's raising up. I know yeah. that. I know you're one of those. I'm one of those ones God is raising up. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because there's a new breed. Let me tell you. There's a sheep. People yeah. are willing to get dirty, to get the hands dirty, roll up the sleeves. Let's get in the mud and the muck and the... Let's go because it's time to fish. And you know what? The largest harvest of fish are always in the deep, dark, scary blue waters. You got to go to the mm. deep, friends. You got to go to the end. Amen. And I'm telling you, this is a season Amen. of great revival, miracles, and harvest. Evangelist? Revive. Sorry, you're breaking up a little bit there. This, this, 
I, I agree. Amen. It's time to go into the deep waters. It's time. No more dipping your toe into the pond. It's time to, for everybody. It's time to swim in the river. It's time for people to jump in and, and to catch the wave of what God's doing in America, to catch the, the harvest that's coming in. The, uh, I really believe this is, a, this is a time and a season. This is an hour to respond to the call of God, to respond to the harvest that's taking place. And, uh, you know, so it's you you nailed it the, the lord is searching the earth to and fro who's going to respond who will say here i am lord send me as isaiah did who will who will respond and say i know that i may be a man with clean lips but you use me god use my mouth use my hands use my resources you know i'm open and i'm yielded and surrendered to whatever you want to do in this season god because that's that that's the vessel that god can work with that's a humble heart the bible says that he gives grace to the humble and that's that's a humble heart that's willing to be used by God, you know, uh, and, and that's that that's really what God is searching for. People to answer who will respond. You know, it says many are called, but few are chosen because the chosen choose him back. They choose the call back. They respond. And so that's, this is an hour. This is a great hour to even join alongside with Route 66, you know, to choose to respond to the harvest, the revival coming to America. Amen. And I'm telling you, all you need is faith. All you need is faith and obedience. And you may be like the little boy that says, all I got is five loaves, two fish. I don't got much, Lord. I don't have much. But God will take a little, and he will turn it into much. God will take your steward little, right. and he will take it into much. Now, friends, listen. This June, we are doing eight cities, tent revivals in the United States along Highway 66. Route 66. We got 10 revivals. We booked out amphitheaters. We're believing for an amphitheater, even in Los Angeles. Amen. So, friends, we need your prayers. We need your help. All right. From Chicago, oh, we're hitting some of the most major dark cities in the U.S. But all of America will be saved. All of America will be saved. Right. Amen. So, friends of God, I want you to join us. I want you to be a part. I want you to consider flying out, joining. Come on. If you're interested in joining, I want to say I'm interested. If you're interested in joining, I want to say I'm interested. Amen. Because this month of June, guys, you're going to see me. You're going to see our content, 10 Revival, Miracles, Soul Winning, Gospel Preaching. It's going to be incredible. The Billy Graham and Reinhard Bonnke mantles are coming back to America and to the oh. world. We're going to see... Mighty men and a woman of God shaking up the earth like it was in the old healing wells of revival. Come on, the T.L. Osborne's, Amy Simple McPherson's, Maria Woodworth Edders, William Branham's, John G. Lakes, the Charles Parham's. We're going to see a mighty new breed of revivalist apostolic voices that's going to shake the world. So if you're interested in joining, I want to say I'm interested or interested in being a part amen just comment i'm interested come on to 76 of you right now i don't see one person saying interested this is not it i mean yeah pray about it amen but i'm telling amen. you jump in the river while it's flowing get in the ark before the doors close and yes, i don't know about you but i want to be a part of the greatest move of god i want to be oh shut up mm. i want to mm. be in the hall of faith i i want to be one of those people that people say, you know, Dr. Ben, he poured out his life for the Lord. He made, right. a word. he made a count. He gave it all so that at least one more person would be saved. He gave, mm -hmm. gave it all. His, his, his checking account, his savings, his, he gave it all so that one more soul could be saved. To be touched with the power of God. Come on. Amen. Amen. At least one. At least one. I see Rob and Jeannie. My goodness. Carolyn. My goodness. Here we go. Evangelist, go ahead. Come on. I, I, that's, that, that's it. You know, want to be sold out for the calling of God. You know, that, that, uh, you'll be in a God's, I can see you in a God's general's book someday. I see it. I see it, the, the Roberts Laird and book, you know, uh, talking about God's generals because the God's generals respond and they keep plowing. And so this is such an hour to respond to the call of God.
I, I was just thinking about this, you know, about what soul winning is. I was pulling this up. You know, soul winning. What happens to those that win souls? It says it's a soul winning is such a platform for even breakthrough in your own life. So to join alongside and and to soul win with us, you know, the glory of God rests upon those that win souls. Yeah. The Bible tells us he who wins souls is wise. And then it Come goes on. on to goes on to tell us that the, the wise shall inherit glory. I mean, this God, this is God who's speaking this here. This is this is the word of God that says this. You know, uh, Daniel tells us those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the firmament. That those will, they will turn many to righteousness. They'll be like stars forever and ever. This is the word of God right here telling you that those yes. that win souls, those that will for the kingdom, he brings the glory upon them. He brings the glory into their lives because it gives him glory. And so if, you're, if you are looking to see a greater measure of glory in your life, I really want you to be interested, jump in because... That, that's what happened in my life. I know when I saw a breakthrough in my own life, it was when I began to hit the streets, started preaching the gospel, started winning souls. And then, you know, God told me, Gary, if you can be content with winning one, I'll give you the 10. If you can be content, happy with winning 10, I'll give you the 100. Be happy with the 100, I'll give you the thousands. And that's what happens. God wants to see faithful service. Who will, who will go into the highways, the byways? Because the promotion comes from the Lord, but it comes by following his blueprint, his plans, which is in the word right there. Winning souls will bring glory. Mm. Wow. So good. And you know what? So many people just sit on their booty and do nothing. <laughs> do you just want to be a participant? Do you want to be a spectator? Come on. I mean, guys, get in the goal or get in the game. I mean, <laughs> friends, let me tell you. Oh, shut up. Let, let me tell you, friends. We are in such a critical hour, and only the gospel will save. That's right. Only Jesus will save. Only being in the center of God, only doing the work as he was, so are we. What he did, you will do greater things. And only those who are in the field of harvest, working in the fields, they're the ones who will share in eternal greater glory with Jesus. Mm. It's not enough just to be saved. I want to see souls get saved. Yeah. And friends, let me tell you, this is a season. If you want to be a part of a historic revival, a mission trip in America, <clears throat> we all love going to Africa and getting our nice photos. We all love going to Dominican Republic, or we all love going to Pakistan and getting our photos, don't we? our photos. But you know what? what about America? God's not done with this country. Come on. Jesus loves Chicago. Jesus loves St. Louis, Kansas City. Listen, these aren't even my cities. I would rather go and minister in Hawaii. Amen. But the Lord wants Chicago to be shaken with the glory mm. of God. He wants St. Louis, Kansas City. He wants these places to be shaken with the glory of God. So don't ask, what can God do for you? Or what can you do for God? I mean, don't ask, what can your country do? What can you do for God? Come on. This is the time, my friends. This is revival season in America. And I believe this summer is going to be a summer of harvest. Yeah. It's going to be a summer of harvest. A great, great summer of harvest in the name of Jesus. So will you join us in prayer? Join us in prayer. Yeah. Pray for us. Route 66 revival. Pray that the Lord will send funds. The Lord will send partners. The Lord will send the right people to join. Yeah. And if you are interested in joining for one city for a week or for the whole month, applications are still open, friends. Amen. Come on. Don't be a lazy river. Get in the glory. <laughs> Get on. busy. Get moving. Come on. Come on. Level five type of whitewater rafting. Get in the glory, my friends, and watch what God does. If you're interested in joining, go to Route 66 Revival. Uh, or you can email us at root66revival at gmail.com. I pinned it to the top here. Friends, literally three weeks away. Oh, my goodness. Come on. My goodness. Three weeks away, friends. So we need your prayers. We need your love, your support. Partner with Revival in America. Partner with what God's doing in this nation. In mm. Jesus' name, evangelism. Yes, prayers. Prayers are so important. The Lord says, "Ask and He'll give you the nations." And we live. America is our nation. It's it's our backyard. And so we've we've been. There's been a there's been a heart cry 
cry for America. We're even seeing a response in some in the cities, in St. Louis and in Chicago and even Albuquerque. There's people who have been praying and praying for a revival to come and hit these cities. And so God is there's God is the call is being answered. We're going into these cities. We're coming in. We're bringing the revival fire. We're responding. God is giving men and women the, to answer the call to come into these cities and to set re, these cities on fire and to bring a great harvest for them. But just know this, with a great harvest comes a great responsibility. And we will need partners. We're going to need people to churches for people to get discipled in. We're going to need uh, houses of worship to connect these people to. And we're also going to need a new breed to come along with us and, and to help you know, help along the way, to help set up tents, to help pray for people, to help us plow cities uh, during the daytime as we evangelize and win souls. We're going to need people to just come along and participate. And some of the awesome things is not only will you get to participate in this great harvest, but, you know, there's also the benefit of, you know, we're going to be pouring into you guys. We want to we want to raise up. We truly believe. I believe in the new in the vision. Of, I believe in the new breed. I know that God is raising up a new breed. I know that it's happening. There's a new wine that's being poured out. It's a new wine skin that's happening. And so we want we want to pour into you guys. We want to raise in, raise up these new breeds of apostles, prophets, evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, the, those that have calls of God upon their life, and even those that are just hungry to be used by God. You know, maybe you're struggling with something. Maybe you're not feeling full right now. You know, maybe you've been going to church and you're just not feeling full. But in John, you know, in John, Jesus is at the well. The disciples go and get him food. And they come back like, Rabbi, eat, eat, eat. And he says, my food is to do the will of him who yes. says, I don't need to eat. And so th what a great way to fill yourself up, but is to pour yourself out. It's the fastest way to get filled up. And so let me just encourage you, come along and pour out, pour yourself out on this trip and to win souls. Pour yourself out and, and to watch what God, watch how he fills you up. Watch how you'll move to a greater dimension of the glory. Watch how God will use you for signs and wonders. Because the Bible is so simple. It tells us the signs follow those that believe. It's, it follows the preaching and teaching of the word. It follows the demonstration. So come on, come evangelists. You're on, you're on fire, my friend. Come on. Let me tell you, friends. I mean, we are seeing such a mighty move with the young people right now. You know, yeah. young, I mean, you were with me, Evangelist, when we saw the Amish and the Mennonites oh. get a hit with the Holy Ghost in Pennsylvania. I mean, this is a revival season, it's harvest time. And it's a believer with us. And uh, we have families joining. We have married couples joining. We have children joining. Uh, it's going to be a powerful time. Missionaries to America. Family missionaries, a summer missions experience. Yeah. Come and be a part of the glory, my friends. Join us, Route 66 Revival.us, Route 66 Revival.us, or email us at Route 66 Revival at uh, Route 66 Revival at gmail.com. Friends, pray with us, believe with us, because there is going to be an incredible, incredible harvest, and you are invited. To join this ride, Evangelist, any last thoughts? Word before it close today. I feel like we we hit a lot of good points. Make sure you anybody who marked interested, reach out to us. I, I encourage you. Uh, don't don't feel disqualified or discredit yourself because of children or because of family. You know, I'll be taking my entire family on this whole trip. So I want to encourage you that it's th this may be a once in a lifetime opportunity for you and your family to come along the road and to experience revival. You know, I'll just share one last thing. My 12-year-old my son was in the glory meetings with us in a doctor, Dr. Ben's meeting, and he himself witnessed a man's leg grow out. And I remember we left that meeting and he looked at me and said, Dad, no one can ever take from me what I saw today. I watched God grow a man's leg and he was completely healed. And he ran around the room filled with the joy of the Lord. And uh, you know, there's something about getting your children in the glory. There's something about, you know, exposing them at a young age because it says to train them up in a way they that they would not depart. And so I just want to encourage you, don't, there, you know, reach out to us. There's, there's, a, we will, there's a way. We, we're willing to work and we'll work it out with you that your family could come and, and be a part of this whole trip because, that, like you said, this generation, God, God is touching all different people groups from the Amish to the Mennonites to the young children to even the Gen Z's, to, to we're really seeing the 30 and 100, really just 
inspiring them. So we want to encourage you to, to come along. Bring them out. My goodness. Come on. You know what? Friends, we want to pray for you right now. Yeah. That your family will be set on fire with the glory of God. Your family, that this year, your family mm. will no longer become the mission field, but your family will become the missionaries. Come. Are you a Come mission on. field or are you a missionary? And that your family will be conduits and vessels of the glory of the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you want to receive prayer right now for your family, I want you to lift up your hands right now. Lord, I thank you. We mm. come in agreement. Yes, Lord. That not only will the prodigals come to Jesus, but we will see these families serve the Lord all the days of their lives. Release the power of God. Let your will and your word be true. In Jesus' name. And thank you for these three months that a summer yeah. of revival and harvest is upon us. Amen. In Jesus' name. And all of God's people who receive it, I want to say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Friends, let's give it up for Evangelist Gary. Love you. Bless you. Love you, my baby. We'll see you soon. Man of God. Soon. Bless you. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed that double double whammy, that double fortune, that broadcast. We are in a mighty revival season, a mighty revival season. Friends, pray with us, believe with us, amen. So, into Route 66 revival. So, we need your help. We need you to believe. Let's believe God for some great, great big, and mighty in this country. That the news channels, the news reports, the world will see. And there will be an awe of the glory or the power, the demonstration of Jesus. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only light. Amen. He's the only truth. He is the answer. He is the one that we love. He's the one that we seek. And Jesus, hallelujah, he is the reason. So friends of God, I love you. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. If you received today, if you enjoyed this broadcast, and you know it's revival season, I want you to say amen. And I want you to consider sowing a seed right now into Route 66. Consider sowing a seed. Amen. Because we need your partnership. We need your partnership. We need your love. Amen. Friends, it's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Here in Arizona, next week I'll be in Pennsylvania, 11 in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. After that, I'll be in Korea. Right after that, Route 66 Revival. It's on like Donkey Kong in three weeks. Love you. Bless you. Share this. Email us. Route 66 Revival at gmail.com. And get ready for a summer of harvest and revival. God bless.